God dang it. I don't have a net yet. Big red. Big eh? red. Big sockeye. Big red, son of a gun. Got in his mouth too. Look sure at that, he eh? did. Sure okay. he did. Yeah, he popped it big yeah. time. Yeah. I don't want to break him off. Come on, come on. Come on. He's so neat looking. Just look at that there, eh? Okay, you can take the hook out now, there, bud. Oh, maybe I'm. Yeah, you don't want to. Isn't that amazing how those teeth go like that there? Yeah, yeah. This guy is. Uh... Come out of there, big guy. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice big sockeye. Okay, you can go there, fella. There he goes. He's going back. But that's not what we're after, are we? No, that's not what we're after. We're after, uh, we're after rainbows. We're we, after... we got rainbows here. Oh, yeah, you better believe they got some nice rainbows. Uh, what would we call these? Uh, knack neck or brook? They're uh, actually okay. they're actually knack neck. Uh, you see, you see, this doesn't come out of this particular river. Runs out of uh, knack neck lake and mm -hmm. the knack neck river. Mm -hmm. So we're in the river. The lake is just up there. About is it called knack neck lake too? Knack neck lake. Well, yes. I've been calling it Brooks. Lake. Well, there is a Brooks Lake. There is a Brooks Lake. Which is part of this lake or something. Which like that? is part of the system. Okay. Well, I wasn't too far off then, was I? No, you weren't. You were real close. Too far off. And of course, we're staying at the Quinault. Landing Resort, King Salmon, and I am teaching this very well-known fisherman <laughs> how to zing. To zing. You've got her, Ben. Ben John. Ho. Oh. Get me a coho, buddy. I know a coho. Get me a. Get me one of those uh, rainbows. Neck okay? neck rainbows. On a zinger. This is the first time you've ever used a zinger. I've never used one. And you were quite surprised when I first brought that, when I first put mine out, I, I drew about three rainbows to it. Yes, I was. You could see the following. They, yeah, they did. They followed you right up. Yeah. I was surprised. It really was. Yeah. And then you said, Gary, do you have a silver one in there? And I said, yes. Well, you quickly took off the red one. But I think the hot red one would work pretty good. You know, the hot red one is excellent for steelhead. Is it really? In the river? Hmm. I'm quite surprised to see you take that thing off so quickly. But well, because normally on the zinger, the silver is the slowest color for me. Oh. Well, it's that's got to be a fairly good one because they make it. You see, I've got this uh, sort of, this is called a perch on it here. It's got, it's got the green in it. Mm -hmm. See, it's got a little bit of red there and the chartreuse green. And the I see. Green. Oh. I see. And you notice also that they put a rubber bumper on then they put what they call their zinger their zingle hook. Mm -hmm. See how it keeps that hook nice and straight? Yeah, I see that. Kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Simple design, but uh, I've had a lot of fun with one of these. What years. a zinger. You're on. Whoa. Pretty baby. Talk to me. Whoa, look at that thing jump. Talk to me, darling. Come on. <laughs> Way to go. Yes, indeed. Well, that's kind of unique because I call the lure and you call the color. That is kind of unique, isn't it? Yeah. Here I am working the working the hot pink one. Oh yes. And uh, yes. Oh baby, go 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 go, go go. Do it. Just zinging out here. Do it. Show us, darling. Show us what you got. They work. They do work, don't they? The zingers even work up in Alaska. Oh yeah. Where they go? Show it to me, darling. <laughs> Do it to me. Had a girl. That's it. That's it. That's they, they it. Really fight up here, don't they? Oh man, they are just oh, so awesome. I mean, what do you got on there? About a three pounder? Oh, probably. And, probably. and, and oh, look yeah. at it. Look at it. You just, they just are, they just won't quit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my little these rainbows here. Just nice and sleek. You got him? Yeah, I got him. All right. Okay, okay. we're going to take this out of there so you can we can turn him back. You know, he he jammed at that thing. I I think I'm going to turn the barb down on this a little bit. Yeah. There we are. Lovely little rainbow trout. Okay, you ready to go back? Go on. Ready to go. <laughs> Where to go, boys? <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. They work. They do work. <laughs> Ah, uh, you made a believer out of me, my boy. <coughs> yeah.
It isn't that I doubted you, I just had to see it done. Well, it's like any lure, you know. Sure. Uh, any lure that a person uses, it has to work for you. You know, in other words, you have to cast some fish on it before all of a sudden you start uh, start believing in it. And give uh, it an honest try. Give too. it an honest try, yeah. 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 And so far, we, you've caught one red on that and uh, one rainbow on that. That's right. And uh, who knows what's next? Let's just let's just go at it. Okay. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, the zinger is very easy to use. I'll just quickly demonstrate over here. Well, he catches the fish. I, I've got on. This is a because because there were a lot of uh, sockeye in the river, and there's a lot of spawn in the river. I sort of thought that maybe this hot pink would be the ticket. And we're just using the small. These are about a half an ounce or something like that, or an ounce. I don't know. But they're just a lightweight zinger with a little zingle hook and a little bumper there. We've got it tied on to, you, to our main line. If we had a lot of snags in here, what I would do is I'd put a swivel up here and just drop my, my leader down a little bit. But uh, we've got a pretty good bottom here, so don't really have to worry about it. But what, what you really want to do with a zinger in this type, we're, we're fishing in approximately, I'd say about eight, six to eight feet of water at the, at the deepest. And so what we, what we really want to do is we want to be fishing this way toward the boat instead of this way. So it, with your deep water, you can, you can uh, fish with these vertically, but uh, we're going to be fishing these more horizontally. So we just take this out, and you always watch that you don't catch the other person's ear. Just cast that out like this here. And then what I like to do is I like to just count to about four, just to get it near the bottom. And then you just gently give it a pull, reel in your line, give it another pull, reel in your line. Now, if you could look at that lure down there, what is happening is the lure darts, and then it flutters down. It darts, and then it flutters down. And you, you're reeling as it's fluttering down, and uh, and then when you come into your stroke, you just give it a lift. Now you do not have to be exaggerated. Sometimes, sometimes just a little flick like this, just a little pull like this here. Look at the rod. See, it's just a nice little pull, not too hard. Reeled in. There we go. Oh, boy, I had one on there. Did you? Yeah. Uh, and. If you'll notice what happened there, I got that bite on the fall. What'll happen with the lure is the lure is darting like this. That attracts the fish attention. Then the lure starts to drop. That is usually when you'll strike. I'd say 70% of your strikes are going to be on the fall. So uh, I'm just going to go back out there and try and get him. And I'm just buying time here because it doesn't take Ben very long to uh, to uh, catch fish around here. Fish, a nice fish. Oh, look at the size of this rainbow. Holy jeez. This is a big rainbow. He just came out of the water. I saw him. Just came out of the water. Big rainbow. I'm going to try to get us in some soft water here if I can. Okay. Look at him peeling out the line. Yeah, he's a strong fish. Yeah, look at him peeling out the line. I'm trying to keep us off the rocks here, boss. Okay, we're in some soft water here, I think. Yeah. Look at this here. Boy, did he ever whack that thing, too. Did he? He sure did. We got into a little bit of a faster water in the river here. We've just been sort of idling down the center of it. And uh, Ben John was telling me, he said that these fish the big ones like to hang out in the deep water. And look at him hang down there. Look at this. He doesn't. He isn't going to show himself at all, is no. he? No. Well, no, he did. He jumped. He, he cleared but the not water. But now. I mean, he, yeah, he cleared the water. He's trying he to spit the that water. Up. So we're just trolling him right now. What a lovely, lovely fish. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. All right. Watch. Right, wow. Look, I, I just got to pick this fish up and show everybody here. I mean, uh, Can you hold your rod. Sure. You got to see how fat this fish is. This is really, really nice. Look at that. 
There you go, man. You can take the hook out. Alrighty, we'll go to work on him right now. Do a little operating real quick like here and uh, put him back down in the water so he's gonna be okay. There we go. There we go. That's a lovely fish, eh? Cool. Let them go back. Look at the, look at that with the green grass. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. They isn't blend that right cool? in. You can't even see them. Well, isn't that cool? You see how you watch these back there? You can see them so annoying. Uh, <laughs> for over 50 years, anglers have relied on the iconic lures from Buzz Bomb Pack. Made in Canada, Buzz Bomb Tackle lures are designed to catch all species of sport fish in oceans, streams, and lakes. And to do so, all you need is a rod, a reel, and a Buzz Bomb Tackle lure. To learn more about these iconic lures, go to buzzbombtackle.com. Nice fish. Yeah, he's a stocky guy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's it. Hey, look